everyone! In today's video, we are headed to Disney Springs to have brunch at Wine Bar George, one of our favorite dining locations in Walt Disney World. In this video, we'll share with you information about the restaurant, what we ate, and of course, share our honest opinions on everything we had and rate the food on a scale of 1 to 10 so you know what's worth ordering or not. Wine Bar George is located in Disney Springs and owned by Master Sommelier George Miliotis who is one of 273 Master Sommeliers in the world and he has brought his wine expertise to Disney Springs with his location Wine Bar George. During our visit we were fortunate enough to have George himself even seat us at our table. Wine Bar George was recently awarded a spot on the world's best wine bar list in 2023. But if you aren't a wine drinker or if you love wine but aren't a wine expert, don't be intimidated by this location. It's a very relaxed atmosphere and if you want to pair a wine with your meal, the experts here will help you pick a glass based on your preferences from over 135 wines that are available. Or if you aren't a wine drinker, don't worry, there are lots of other great options on the menu too. George was actually part of the opening team over at California Grill at Disney's Contemporary Resort. And if you've seen our video for that location, you'll know that California Grill has their award-winning wine list too. Wine Bar George has a lunch and a dinner menu, and on weekends only, they offer a brunch menu. Weekends at Disney Springs can get pretty busy, so I would always recommend booking reservations in advance. As with other Disney properties, you can book dining reservations up to 60 days in advance before your trip, or you can refresh the app to look for a last minute spot. We love Wine Bar George brunch so much that this was a must do on our trip to Walt Disney World in 2022 and again on our trip this year in 2023. So let's get into what we had and we'll start with the drinks. If you're a fan of the famous Dole Whip found throughout Walt Disney World, then Wine Bar George has Frascados made with Pineapple Dole Whip, which I just call a Dole Whip Mimosa. I know what you're thinking, going to a specialty wine bar and ordering a Dole Whip drink, but it's really good. I do love wine and trying new wines, but with brunch I would rather the Dole Whip Mimosa. This drink is so much fun and easily a 10 out of 10 drink for me. Greg ordered the red sangria, which was delicious as well. He's not typically a wine or sangria drinker, but he did really enjoy it. He ordered a Bloody Mary last year and was a huge fan of that as well. Next up is our appetizers for the table. We ordered the house-made hummus, and let me tell you, don't sleep on this. This hummus was by far the best hummus I've ever had and was so unbelievably smooth. I didn't expect to love a hummus starter so much, but this was really fantastic and a nice light bite before our meal. I also want to point out that on our visit here last year, Greg and I ordered the mac and cheese bites as an appetizer. These were so crispy and delicious, fried perfectly with the cheesy center. We would highly recommend giving these mac and cheese bites a try too, as they were also a huge hit for us. But I am a mac and cheese lover after all. So for our entrees, I ordered the exact same thing I ordered for brunch last year because I've been dreaming up this dish ever since I had it. This is their burrata, which comes fresh over avocado toast on crispy kabata bread and fresh tomatoes with bacon. Everything tastes so fresh and this is probably one of my most favorite things to order in Walt Disney World and this is an easy 10 out of 10 for me. Sydney and Tamara both ordered the burrata as well, and Greg ordered the fried chicken biscuit, which came with grits as a side. Greg's grits were surprisingly super good. I'd only had grits once before on a cruise, and I was not a fan at all, but these were great. They're so good. Those are way better than the last grits I have. Are they? Try my grits. You're southern now. Did they make them sweet? Yeah, and creamy. You want to try? Those are unexpected. So good. Very good. I think you're gonna like that too. The egg was, and it's not slimy. That's really good. What do you think? Everything's a ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. We finally found a grid that I liked. Are they a ten on a ten out of ten on their own? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. During our visit here last year, Greg had ordered the sausage gravy and biscuits. These had also been a 10 out of 10 for him. He almost even ordered them again this time until the fried chicken biscuit had caught his eye. 
Would you recommend Wine Bar George? Yes, I would recommend. <laughs> would you recommend Wine Bar George? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite place to eat at Disney, so definitely come here, especially for brunch. So make a reservation. <laughs> So between the atmosphere and all of the brunch options that scored such high ratings for us, we hope that you can see from this video that Wine Bar George absolutely is worth it for a weekend brunch stop while visiting Disney Springs. We would go back here in a heartbeat again too, it's so good. Wine Bar George also has a quick service location attached to it called The Basket at Wine Bar George, which has grab and go picnic style options like baguettes and meat and cheese boxes. You can also pick up a drink to go to. If you wanted to try the Dole Whip Frescato without a sit down dining reservation, or another drink that I love, which is their Frosé, you can order that here too. I made a stop at The Basket during a Disney Springs Day last year just to pick up a Frosé and it was so good. If you are looking for other Walt Disney World dining reviews, check out our Disney Dining playlist. We'll share some of the Disney Dining locations that we've eaten at and rate all of our food on a scale of 1 to 10 so you know if it's worth it or not. Thank you so much for watching our latest video. If you enjoyed this video, we would greatly appreciate if you'd hit the like button and subscribe to follow along on our next adventure. Thanks for watching!